I'm lost inside and the end is near It's just not fair Hey guys, it's 681 Shadow. Welcome to another video in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And originally, for showing off this Omega Shenron EZA, which is what we're gonna do today, I was gonna try to get to level 999, but I realized that like there was a lot of stuff, other stuff I wanted to do in game. So I decided to stop here at around level 250. And really, I just wanna like I'm showing it off here. Like it's fine that I didn't get to the max level because well, a the rewards aren't too great going beyond the um the rewards aren't too great for going even further beyond. Like that, I'm actually going to pick up LR Goku Trunks of Pan here as a friend. This is the team I'm running. And this event, it doesn't really get that much harder until that level 999, but it's not even that hard um, at that level. So, if you want to grind it up to there, then be my guest. But honestly, this event isn't really, um, you know, it's not really necessary to grind it that much. The main thing is to just grind this event until you get to, um, until you get through the first 100 stages, because you get... Um, all the copies for this EZA Goku here, which we are, I am going to show off, um, I am going to show him off as well in a video. That'll probably be tomorrow's video. And then, um, yes, yeah, so you're getting a not so great look at him here. Which, yeah, I'll show him off on the Shadow Dragon team tomorrow. And then, um, with the other 50 stages, you get access to, um, you're able to get one Sleeping Kai per stage. So you get 50 Kai, you get 50 Sleeping Kais, which, are, which is pretty nice actually. So make sure to do those 100 stages before this event goes away. It goes away I believe on the 12th, along with all the anniversary stuff that's still sort of lingering around. So, let's wait on that. We have got, because I am back from my vacation now, so I have like, you know, I'm able to make some more content, and we and we know that uh, Super Dragon Ball Hero stuff is going to be, um, is going to be coming to, um, Dokkan Global, which is awesome. So, I'm really excited about that, and as you see, especially with that uh, GT Goku, because he's the weakness of the event. We're able to get through this pretty quickly, which is nice. Alright, so, yeah, I'll do maybe like another stage or two. Not gonna make this drag out for too long. Because, um, it, it will have already happened by the time this video goes up, but I am gonna be streaming today as well. And I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, re both streams will be me reacting to, uh, to the EVO Top 8 for, uh, well, today, which is which will happen before this video goes up, will be Dragon Ball Fighters, and then tomorrow will be, uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate, so that'll be exciting. I definitely want to. Uh, I definitely want to see those matches. Trying to get, um, trying to get into those games more. I want to try to play Dragon Ball Fighters on the channel. I will, so like the ev like watching the top eight for that is gonna be more so for me to learn like oh what's in the meta, what's good, things like that. Especially from like players of like those ca of like that high caliber, I'm gonna I can definitely learn a lot from stuff that they're gonna be doing. So that'll be good for me. But yeah, as you see, this Omega Shadow event pretty easy. You can beat it with a, with a, just a regular. Uh, in type team, either super or extreme, it doesn't matter. Omega Shenron doesn't have any additional damage reduction to super extreme types, so you're fine either way with this. Yeah, so yeah, this this event honestly is not hard whatsoever. He, even like free to play players shouldn't have an issue with this event at all. Yeah, because we're because you, if you're running like a super in team like this, you'll be able to def, you'll be able to beat Omega Shenron in like a turn or two. So. Yeah, you're on. It's honestly nothing to really worry about. Just get those hundred stages done to get the uh, the GT Goku as well as the uh, Sleep Ties because both are very good. You know, I'll show off the GT Trio because I love their 18 key. I'll, I'll let the, I'll let them finish off Omega here. Yeah, I really I really love how, I love how some of the super, like the more recent super techs like our uh, Goku Trunks of Pan, the Piccolo that's on JP now. Their super techs are like one to one with the anime, which is awesome. Yeah, so they have this one being the uh, the Dragon Ball GT uh, opening sequence, which is pretty cool. There's that. Yeah, we'll do one more stage. I don't want the video. I don't want the video to be too ridiculously short because, um, yeah, because we're at like four minutes now. I'll do one more stage, and I think that would be a good length for the video. And then we'll have our usual length, like around ten minutes for our showcases and stuff like that. And hopefully some hero stuff. Like, if, like for heroes, if we get the same like all of the heroes units that are on JP right now, the most like the number one unit I really want to pull is probably going to be Sealus. So yeah, so if I can get Sealus, then that's going to be really good for me because he's he's really good, and I'm going to enjoy like showing him off and doing all that. If not him, then there's plenty of great Dragon Ball heroes. Yet. I might make a video um, for news on the banner once we get the news on um, the eighth. Yeah, it'll, it'll be the eighth in my time zone. If you're in Pacific, it'll it'll probably be um actually I don't know it might still be the eighth if you're in Pacific I actually don't know but 
it'll still be very exciting news, and I'll probably be able to cover it, which will be awesome. So definitely keep a lookout for that. Yeah, so heroes definitely like su it's super exciting because like JP has had the hero stuff for like years, and Global hasn't gotten any of it. So I'm I am like the most the thing that a lot of us are curious about is how they're gonna do the heroes banners on Global because JP has gotten like three or four heroes banners. Uh, like throughout its lifetime, and this is gonna be Global's first, and JP has so many heroes. You know, so I don't know. Like what I what I think would be cool is give us a heroes banner now on Global, but add them to the general pool. So, like after this heroes banner that that we're gonna have, if they added the heroes units to the general pool of SSRs, then I think that would honestly be the be their best move because you would have like like we'd probably get like the same heroes banner that JP got. Uh, most recently, the one with um, the one with Silas, um, the Xeno based Goku, Xeno based Vegeta, Great Salmon for that banner. Like if we get all of that and all the Awakenings, and then just have them unfeatured on every banner going forward, I think that'd be a smart move on Bandai's part, because then people will be able to also get those these, those uh, Dragon Ball Heroes characters. Like well, that that'd be honestly really cool, because like I could be summoning on like three hundred million dollars celebration, and if I don't get like what I want, but then I could not get what I want in the $300 million banner, but then I could also get like an unfeatured like Supreme Kai of Time, which would be amazing. So, yeah, I think that'd be definitely a good move for them. But, yeah, I think we're going to end off the video here, guys. Definitely make sure to do this EZA before it goes away. I think it goes away the 12th. Let me actually, let me actually check. Let me, let me go in the news and check. But, yeah, while I'm checking here, guys, thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share all that fun stuff. It's definitely, um, okay, actually, yeah, no, it's not going to show me. Uh, where's the... Easy. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, definitely be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share all that fun stuff. More content's gonna be coming your way, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. It's going to end. Is there a date? Oh yeah, it's up there. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's the 12th. Yeah, okay. That's good. All right, yeah. So with that, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.